Oh my god, bro. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see you there. Hell no. Yo, how's everybody doing today? Oh, alright, alright, no, I can't cancel that. Alright. What is up, everybody? It is your boy Twin Plays here. Back in our video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, so I don't know what the theme of the day is for today. Something. You know, might be frat. <laughs> might be rapper might be something. I just decided to put this on, but yeah, so right now we're gonna be learning how to make a four sealed base button. Um, I'm gonna quickly hop into this. If you're new to my channel, feel free to that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. Uh, I don't normally dress like this, it's just uh, since it's Halloween, you know, gotta be mixing up with costumes, but all right, so um, also you can join the Discord if you can. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go in the description and you're gonna look for the model. Now this model will just say, you know, force to a button, whatever. Click, claim it, download it, whatever's easier for you guys. And we're gonna hop right in the studio. Um, so you can put this in your tycoon. You can put this into anything you really want. Um, personally, I put in my tycoon, but if you want, you can do this with any like game, like in just in general. So it's actually really cool. Um, I specifically made this uh, for, you know, people who, I made this for my game, but when I look at it, I'm like, you know, we're going to really make this awesome. Now, I do, and I'm going to do a pressure plate video. I don't know if I remember to schedule it before or after this. Whatever works, um, I'll be like, having it in this model as well. But I'm going to be t learning more. You're going to be learning more about it in the next video or previous. Um, and, yeah, so basically what happens is it says base shield. And you step on it. And bada beam, bada boom, it actually gives you the shield. Now, you can see what I mean by this if I go in a server right here. Um, so it's this big red bulb. Now, um, you can make it anything you want, but I personally just made it this. And what you're going to do is, um, that's it. So <laughs> it honestly, it works already. You just put it wherever you wanted to put it and it will work. Um, goes off. It has some sound. Um, so you can't really hear that, but now it says base shield off base shield on and while i step on it it actually goes down as well so that's what we're gonna be talking about but yeah it's really really cool so let's hop straight into this um basically just go to the script down in here so it's gonna be this little thing you're just gonna ungroup it wherever you want it to be now i want to keep you to know so wherever it is it's only gonna work if they are together so basically what i mean by this is let's say you make the you know you make a force field thing like a for your purchases so let's say you want to make a button this is like a purchases in the tycoon um you're gonna have a model like this and you're gonna say force field and it's just gonna be one thing they can buy and you're gonna put it in there reason being is this is only found by script.parent.parent so it's gonna be going here to here and then finding it right here so just make sure they're able to find each other or else you're gonna have to configure that yourself but yeah so this will work either way so i'm just gonna show you so this is the force field um, now you click on this and you see inside we have a kill part and we have a force field So kill part is transparent and inside of it is a script and all it does will it will find the humanoid when they touch it and it will kill them. Now if I make this transparency set to 25 you're going to see it looks like this Now reason being is right here. We have a force field though. This force field is not just any force field It is a mesh now for the mesh you see how it's a block and this one's a circle um what happens you know, well the, the it kind of confuses you okay you might be a little confused this is a block this is a circle but it looks like a block outline but when you go to the force field itself and you turn that transparency it's gonna look like a block i mean it's gonna look like a circle but it is a block it's a mesh um i don't know if there's like a wireframe rendering i think you can look yeah yeah you can look through that but you know what i mean by this is um this right here is not gonna be this is just going to be the looks. So this force field part, you can customize, make it your own. Um, you can use this mesh if you want. You can change the color by going down here. You know, I can go, um, if I want, I can go right here and do 2255, make it purple. You know, this awesome purple. Um, and yeah, so that's basically what we're doing. Now this has can collide off and anchor true. Um, so I'm going to set the transparency back to one. Set this back to one reason being is we want them all transparency to off and this script is not enabled so keep note of that it's not enabled if it was enabled it would kill everyone so that's what we're doing now the circle is what we're checking we're checking if people are out of the, like in a big circle they just like hit that little thing now i did this as a union so what i did was i just created a circle like this so i'll show you it's kind of cool you can do this um you can go circle like this then let's just like do this color you can create another one. Make it shinier, okay? Do red or whatever. We're going to go model. And you're going to go negate. And you're going to go right here. And you're going to go union. So when I go inside this, boom. See how this is like this? See what it just did there? 
basically literally just made it separate so that's that's actually really cool but <laughs> what it's doing is it's only gonna see if they touch the part now literally i mean like this little edge okay so if they are literally inside this ball it won't kill them but let's say they jump out of it it'll let them out you know but a mesh the reason with the mesh is it has problems is it actually doesn't allow the player like it will be already in, like i don't know how to say it guys it's just inside so that's just my frat brain going on right now all right i'm kidding so <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're going to um do that and then we have the plate so this is a plate you can customize this how you like. Now, you don't even have to have this. It's just if you want. But customize this. Mess with it. Um, it has a sound right here for you. You can customize that. Then we have the base and then the region. So the region is basically what checks where the player hits it. And that's what we're going to look at right now. So plate, region, base, sound, UI, all these little local variables. What we do is we have the tween service. And we're going to do two functions, gate on and gate off. What we're going to do is we're going to find the GUI of the base shield which is going to be in the base right here and you can customize this to your liking guys oh my gosh sorry the hiccups customize this to your liking you know you can change the color you can change the font whatever you like and we're going to do is you're going to do we're going to have local functions gate on and get off what we're going to do is we're going to set this base uh, text to on we're going to set that kill part to true and we're going to set the force field transparency to zero and when it's get off we're going to do the opposite of that reason being is we're basically creating these function variables so we can do it in the touch part so what we're doing is the region touch so if they are touching the thing we are going to do the table uh, insert and this is where i'm going to talk about in the next video about tweening the uh, base plate and then we're going to do the sound play which is going to play the sound and we're going to check if the debounce is false if it's false we're going to do the function gate on and we're going to set it back to true and if it's true and we're going to set it to gate off and we're going to set the debounce to false. So basically, we're just reversing it once and once and over. You could do if not debounce, debounce equals whatever. Like if not debounce equals then. Or what? If the moves, yeah, whatever. All right. Debounce equals not debounce. All right. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> but we need to check, you know. So that's how we're doing it. All right. So we got the touch ended. When they get off the part, we are basically going to play it up the tween. So this is part of the whole, you know, tweening pressure plate. So you can go watch the other video on that. Um, and we're going to do the table without remove. I'm um, just making sure they're not in it. So that's about it, you guys. Um, if you want to customize this to your liking, feel free to. It should not be hard at all. Um, this is the main things right here is just changing that gate on and gate off. Just feel free to mess with it. Really, like, just, just play around. The only thing you just want to be careful with is make sure to test your field. So by that, I mean make sure when it's on that you just, like, when you turn it on, it doesn't just kill you automatically because you might accidentally be putting the player inside of the part so that's what's wrong oh collision groups that's honestly really cool i've never seen that all right well <laughs> you guys have a great night um i'll see you in the next video all right bye bye everyone i hope you didn't mind my little thing see ya